and we are back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to quickly create a 3D cube. You can draw that by hand but it's much simpler to just render it. So let's go to extensions render 3D polyhedron. Let me put the menu right here and I'll check the live preview we can see the cube. We can change the object to the defaults for example to a tetrahedron on icosahedron. You can also import files the process is for all of these objects the same, so let us go to the cube, which should be more familiar. Then change the top menu to view, and you will see all of these rotate around options and rotation degree. So if you rotate it with the first option, we've got it rotated in the x axis. And then you can rotate it once more in the x-axis or just change the axis to y or z. Let me use the third option to rotate it in the z-axis. And you can see this is the way to rotate it in the three dimensions. We've got three more chances to rotate it. So these options in the menu just repeat themselves. Let us go to style. The scaling factor is for the size. So if I make that bigger or smaller, you can see what happens. Then we've got the fill color, which is the RGB mode. So red, green, blue. And we've got the fill opacity. At 100% we've got the full fill. Stroke opacity, there is a stroke that indicates the sides of the cube. So if I increase the stroke width, you can see that. And I can now go up and down with the stroke opacity, just as I did with the fill. You can add a shading with the box, and we've got these light options for X, Y, and Z, so that you can adjust the position of the light source it can be positive or negative in value. Show might be interesting. You can only show the edges, for example. We've got a third option that sometimes produces interesting results, like, like dots. I don't even know how it's pronounced in English. Vertices, I guess. But faces is the one that you want to check for the most part so that it gives you the full fill. When you've got what you want, click on apply and you can treat it like a regular object and resize that holding control, for example. And this is how you can quickly create such a 3D cube in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.